I just want to share something with you quickly. You know, we have so much to be thankful for. So much to be, if you are here and you are alive and where you have so much to be thankful for. You know why? Because a lot of people, when you were into addiction, when you were into robbing, when you were into what manipulating, when you were into adultery, when you were into whatever you could have been into, God had his hand on your life. When many people got destroyed and what you should have got destroyed in, when many people died from what you should have died from, when that bullet killed them, but you got shot yourself and that bullet didn't take you out of here. Many people got strokes. Many people got cancer. Many people got whatever they got. And it went around you. And it, I want you to fathom that. And it went around you. Like the blood on the doorpost. It passed over. It passed over. That's the same thing. The angel of the Lord did for you. It passed over you. You ought to thank God for his grace and mercy every day. Because you know like I'm speaking. We have had many relatives, friends, people that you grew up with. People that you were hanging with are not here anymore. And you both were doing the same thing. They got caught up, they died, they lost their lives, they got disabled for life, whatever the reason, but you didn't. Always think and honor God for having his hand upon your life in, your, in our ignorance when we wasn't even serving God because he knew you would be called his child. See, we are not all God's children. We are all God's creation, but we are not all God's children because see, God's children hear his voice. Keep hearing the voice of the Lord. Keep moving in the things of God. Don't worry about who follow him. There's going to be a lot of people you're going to leave behind. That's their choice. You stay focused. You stay fixed. You stay unmovable and unshakable. And as you continue Allowing Holy Spirit to order your steps. The steps that he's ordering is catapulting you into deeper dimensions and blessings and breakthrough and eternal overflowing like you have never experienced in your life. Yes. God bless you. Continue to stay focused. Don't steer to the left or to the right. That's a set up from the enemy. Stay fixed on where his road to recovery is bringing you into. Stay on the path that is straight and narrow. And you are going to watch how God infiltrate and celebrate and make you influential and affluential in the earth. And the people that you have to leave behind, watch where they belong. Uh, only do to their own choices and decisions. Don't worry about the naysayers. That's just what they are. Naysayers. Nothing. We follow Christ. We follow his word. We follow his commandment. God's words say, be a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. You're going to have a lot of people disappointed about them not able to bend or break you. <laughs> just keep moving forward in the things of God. This is the eternal outpouring. I pray you like and subscribe. Share the video. God bless you. And you have a wonderful day.